Hello everyone, this is Kumar here. Again, I'm back with another Wednesday talk. So this time it would be on TSO, ISPF, SDSF re refresher. I thought like, let me make a quick refresher for the people who have just joined or taken the mainframe as a career and the people who wanted to refresh uh, back the mainframe. So maybe they might have taken a gap and they wanted to refresh. And also it would be useful for the uh, people who are already working on the mainframe and just wanted to have a quick reference of TSO commands or the ISPF panels, uh, edit line commands and uh, SDSF uh, different commands for the quick reference. So for them it would be very useful. So that that is the reason just thought like let me make this quick refresher. Okay. So before I move ahead just thought like let me have a quick snapshot uh, of uh, the fundamentals of mainframe for a quick reference. Okay. Maybe you might have rejoined the mainframe or you are new to this so it will be quick reference to you all so i mean we log into the tso environment it's a web base and on top of a, a, a tso we have ispf and S, uh, sdsf without tso there will be no ispf or sdsf okay so what is the operating system that we use is cos and presently we have 2.4 and 2.5 is the recent one which supports very cloud and ai features Okay, and the front end, unlike if you're working on Java or .NET, we have uh, both front end and back end applications, right? So, on the mainframe, we use CICS and IMS terminal transaction, and the uh, back end IMS DB and DB2 we use, and application languages uh, COBOL, uh, PLV1, Rex, Assembler. So we use other third party languages like Java, C as well. And uh, in order to compile and uh, compile your uh, application code that you have written, so we need to use a GCL. And user ID, so for the TSO it would be seven bytes and the password eight bytes or you can exceed based on the emulator uh, that you are and uh, that means that they are configuring. So ideally in olden days we used to have eight bytes fixed. So since due to the security reasons, there uh, there is a change there. Uh, it again depends on the admin so how long the password they wanted to use it for 30 days 60 days or 90 days and we uh, the file structure is like physical sequential file we call it as a sequential data sets and it uh, it has a maximum 44 bytes length and the pds and pds is nothing but it's a folder within the folder you have a files i'm mean, just i'm trying to map with the gui version okay the maximum 54 bytes includes uh, this one and GDGs, we also have another files, we call it as a GDG, which has a version, okay? Uh, and the qualifiers of the data set name 1 to 8 bytes in length and allows A to Z, 0 to 9, dollar, hash, and at the rate special keywords. And dot is used between the qualifiers. And uh, the members or that you create inside the PDS is called as a member. Okay, this is a quick snapshot of uh, fundamentals, just for a refreshment, okay? So now I'm getting to the actual topic. So I've mentioned I'm going to refresh, a quick refresh on the TSO, ISPF and SDS. What is TSO? TSO is nothing but it's a time sharing option interactive command line interface. Unlike a DOS command or uh, MS DOS that you are using, so you, everything you process using a command that is a black screen on your write a command or if you are using a putty or if you are using SSH, FTP commands, those are all CLI, command line interface. Similarly, TSO is similar uh, fashion. We go to the ready prompt in order to execute uh, the commands. So that is TSO. ISPF is named as Interactive System Productivity Facility. So that means here we are going to see a another uh, uh, version. I mean, I can say the frame line is a, uh, you are going to see a screens or the panels. Okay, we call it as interactive panel driven interface where you enter the command and you, you see a results on the screen. Okay, whereas in the command, so it will be on a single screen. It will be in TSO, I mean, it will be a CLI. You enter the command, you immediately get the response on the same screen, okay? Whereas in ISPS, so you will be giving, uh, you will be seeing a different panels and interface with the full screen support. And it requires a TSO as a base environment. Without TSO, there is no ISPF, okay? Similarly, SDSF. It's a system display and search facility, or sometimes we call it as a spool as well. So wherein, whatever the jobs that you execute and uh, whatever any logs you wanted to uh, see user logs this log so everything that we can see it on the sdsf and this is also an interactive panel driven uh, 
interface and these two requires TSO as a base environment okay so now let me connect to the mainframe and see show you how uh, we move to TSO ISPF and SDSF okay as soon as you log into the mainframe so this is the initial primary ISPF primary option menu screen that you see right so what we have to, in order to go to the TSO so what we have to do you have to type equal to X on the command line so this is the TSO mode that you have come come in and if you are using in a window so we can see like you are entering into the command mode I mean to say MS DOS mode okay so here we can execute a, a set of uh, commands uh, that you wanted to uh, navigate on uh, to the specific uh, I mean we can we can uh, run uh, n number of uh, commands here okay so uh, for example mm, as I told uh, for example if you want to see your profile okay so I can just similarly I can say enter profile so it will give you the profile of with your uh, user ID that you have logged in so this is one uh, command I can enter and if I want to see the time so I can just check the time as well and also if you want to see the data sets that are listed with your ID so if you want uh, you can see the list of the data sets as well and also uh, you can just type another commands as well uh, like a profile no message ID okay if I say and similarly if I see list so I can see this uh, there will be a message ID that would uh, disappear from there okay so these are the different uh, commands I can say uh, that we uh, we can execute using uh, TSO there are several other uh, TSO commands that we can uh, execute so <laughs> if you joined the mainframe as a 10 years or 15 years back so we used to play with this so just sending a message to another users so how do we send it hello uh, let's like James let's me say hello James uh, user and uh, if user is if you know the user uh, user ID so then you can just send a message to his terminal so the directly the message will go to the specific user so this is used I mean now it's very now we don't use much that so since we are into a different world now okay right so uh, now if, if I have to uh, connect to the ISPF so then I can type ISPF here just it will redirect you to the ISPF okay so similarly if I want to go to SDSF type SDSF here it can take you to the SDSF as well okay so again uh, I need to press F3 okay if you press F3 again you are back to the TSO it's okay that was pretty uh, good uh, refresh about uh, a TSO so now we will slowly uh, uh, move to ISPF there are several different commands uh, uh, we can execute here suppose for example if you type help uh, so you can see there are list of uh, commands that we would be using internally in the ISPF as well so if you want to see in detail about this so just click uh, type help and you'll be seeing anything and you can also read this what are these commands like system control command session con uh, con uh, commands interactive transmission facility and uh, foreground initiated background commands all these uh, different things and if you want to uh, know about that so just type help and time so it will give you the properties or in detail uh, definition of it and if you can see this right so for example I can take another one help uh, let's say list C what is the list C okay now you can read list cat command list the entries from the other uh, master catalog or user catalog and you can see what are the parameters that we can pass when you are using this okay and if you don't want this control F1 so just it will bypass the rest of the message if you don't want to uh, read that why because sometimes you need to keep on pressing enter 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 why because there's a lot of information that uh, will give you so if you are focusing on all those information that would be quick if you are a, uh, if you have recently joined so then if you want to learn detail so that would be that help command will give you a lot of information okay now let's move on to the ISPF so as I've mentioned I need, I need to type ISPF so wherein I will be going to uh, ISPF ISPF contains uh, different uh, panels as I've mentioned the one panel that you are seeing is a primary option menu and within this primary option you can see settings view edit uh, utilities 
and different things settings will have its own uh, properties that we will be using on if i type zero it will move to the settings so one of the popular thing that you can uh, command line at bottom whatever the command line you are seeing here right so if you want that bottom so you can just change it's few people like the command uh, to be at the bottom and few people like at the top so normally i would prefer top and if you of uh, you're working in past 15 or 18 years i would be seeing very senior programmers they are they like uh, working in the uh, bottom okay the command line okay so that's about this uh, settings and if you want to other configure any other things also uh, just you can uh, go through this and let me go to the three uh, option two or uh, three so wherein you can see different uh, utilities uh, stream uh, uh, this has inbuilt uh, utilities like if you want to create a data set or if you want to copy or if you want to list the data set properties and if you want to execute any of the commands or if you want to compare a data sets if you want to search any specific string so these are like inbuilt uh, utilities or i can say inbuilt products uh, that are available for the functions that you can that you'll be working in your day-to-day -day life so this is mostly used okay and if you want to see for example just i want to see the list of the data set so you can see the list okay so that's about uh, the utility selection and now we'll move on to the another one so wherein uh, we'll go to this and similarly as i've mentioned if you want to edit or anything so you will go to the option 3.4 and you can uh, do an edit uh, edit a specific uh, data set or file so for example 3 and i'm, I'm going to 4 and here if i want to uh, enter anything okay edit anything so if i'll be using insert commands and uh, uh, and uh, move everything so these are the different commands that we'll be uh, using here right okay so that's about uh, the utilities and uh, now coming to the two option two so two is uh, like edit entry panel so wherein uh, if you want to edit any of the data set so yes you can go with the 3.4 also if you can't you can use this one actually. and uh, the other important thing that i want to show in the ispf here uh, in edit right edit is nothing but it's a formatting so you have a data set you wanted to format it so if i press f1 here okay f1 is a help right so you'll be getting the complete library or the information related to edit that we can do okay so if you look at here uh, types of data set what are the different types of data sets we have on the mainframe if you click on this you will be seeing record formats and length so fixed byte variable bytes blocked unblocked and data lengths that we can uh, record on the mainframe is one two three seven six zero bytes of data so that is a maximum uh, uh, number of bytes that we can use i mean this kind of an uh, information that will be very much helpful to you so if you want if you're trying to recap uh, the things right so if i want to go to the previous page press f10 so it will take you to back to the previous page and similarly we have uh, n number of line commands uh, line commands that we use in our day-to-day work life so if you if you want uh, to learn more about the line commands right just type 13 here and you can see what are the different kinds of uh, edit line commands that we have uh, one is a uh, basic commands like insert delete repeat uh, and move copy commands so c m a and shift commands like you want to move uh, some values to the left right and exclude and uh, show commands so everything that you can see and uh, here maybe i'm not sure if you guys have noticed or not so for example if i want to understand uh, this move or copy commands just type 2 here and uh, and suppose move how it works so just type another time and you can read the description as well and just type m here and here you can see uh, they have given an example of it like so this is the command so and if you want to try to move as it's a single line move just type m so you can uh, uh, where you wanted to place you can add a after or before or online commands okay so this is how we can uh, this would be a quick reference to you guys so please do use this uh, so that i mean 
you can do your job will be very quick okay sometimes we keep on doing repeating the same thing okay so this will really help you for the quick reference and uh, you can learn many things out of this and another one is uh, 14 if you go to here right so the other primary commands that we can use on the command line so like miscellaneous command find exchange uh, find change exclude what do we exclude number control commands display mode commands macro control commands data editing commands edit setting commands if i type a data editing commands like delete sort edit undo preserve so all these these are the different uh, data editing that command that we use at the command line so we use at the command line suppose maybe you might have seen or if you want to try so open one ps file and try to sort uh, by selecting specific field column sort space one comma ten whatever the data that is there in the first to ten bytes it will sort if you want to delete any of the records just you can tell all so you can use this and I otherwise if I suppose if I want to use delete how do I use it so just you have an example here already given so just you uh, have a quick reference on this and then you'll be learning more okay so if, if previous page F10 okay and F10 again so again uh, if you want to see display mode command control command just type 4 and you can see caps uh, if you want to learn about hex, bounds, uh, left, right, highlight, and columns. For example, if I want to learn highlight, what it is this. Uses the highlight command to change the enhanced coloring and language and stew coloring option. Right? So just type highlight, display the highlight dialog. Auto off if you want if you don't want to highlight any of the things, then you can just ignore that and you can learn more uh, into this. Okay. And similarly caps. Okay, if you want to caps on or caps off so you have set caps on means by default when you are editing all the data will be turned as a caps on if you want whatever the editing that you are doing so just uh, make it caps off so that that will give you back okay so similarly we have termination control commands like auto num auto list especially when you are writing a cobalt program you want the numbers uh, to be added at the last 72 to 80 so if you want the numbers auto num off you can just use this uh, if you want to just look at this so you can see auto num on and auto num off or uh, you want to see the version number stored with the statistics and uh, all other things so what is this these are editing termination option commands okay and similarly uh, to find change exchange so if you want to use the find if you want to know in detail uh, so the find you are trying to search for a specific string so you can do that as well okay so this is uh, pretty much about uh, the edit help command so wherein we can uh, search many options here so like as I've mentioned primary commands edit line commands so just please try this uh, two commands that would really help you in your day-to-day -day work life or if you are a beginner so just you can uh, go through that okay so now we'll uh, uh, let me press F3 and not only this another uh, key point that I'll be telling so if you want to understand about ISP primary option menu just press F1 so you'll be uh, you'll get to know everything each and every option that you can uh, learn or you can know uh, from these panels itself sometimes we wonder I mean if any new pro uh, mainframe developer or a testing QA or it can be any role whatever the role you are playing you may be a look looking at the screen you may understand what's this I can't understand but see when this was designed when I mean it's been like decades so we have been seeing the screens uh, but everything and every information is on this just you need to go to the F1 help so you can explore the options and you can get everything no need to ask your friends colleagues or in the forums you have every data every information available here just you need to explore the option just try it you'll get everything okay so that's pretty much about the ISPF panel screens and uh, the help option that how you can uh, locate the things okay so now we'll uh, explore uh, on to SDSF okay so how do I go to SDSF uh, 
so again you can go to ready prompt and just you can type sdsf so it will directly uh, give you a uh, route you to the sdsf primary option menu i mean i have other another video that is created on sdsf uh, with a detailed explanation of how what are the different options that we can do i mean normally sdsf uh, stands for system display and search facility also referred as spool uh, that means simultaneous peripheral operations online sometimes in interview they may ask what is spool how do you can you definition of it referred as so just you can add this so when you run a job it will go to the staging area so whenever you're submitting a job so it goes to the specific staging area where all the jobs are in queue uh, it can be released it can be cancelled so different options that comes across okay so this is about the sdsf so sdsf what are the different options that we can do is uh, we can go to the spool and we can check the status of the job and we can find or we can search the job with the different owners or your and what is in input queue what is in output queue uh, how do we submit the jobs and the versions and all those informations that we can see and we can also cancel the jobs and we can hold the job, we can release the job, and we can purchase the job. Basically, uh, whoever is supporting, I mean, if you are working on, especially on the production support team, so maybe you might be using this SDSF a lot. And as a beginner, as a pro, as a new person, so uh, you may be you you may not doing much, but it's better to know a few details about this. Okay, and this is the different condition code that would be coming across whenever we submit a job and especially the people who are into the operations or production support so they would be seeing this error codes a lot and also the developer especially when they are doing a unit testing or then when they are doing a trial and error so they would be coming across this condition codes or the written codes of the JCL 0 stands for successful completion of a job 4 warning 8 as an error 16 it's a severe error that you will be seeing and uh, uh, these are the different written codes that would be expecting in each step that uh, is being uh, written I mean this is at the steps level and this is the overall at the job level okay and uh, the SDSF commands as I've mentioned to see the status of it okay so if I want to see the active users I can see an active users if I want to know what is an input queue input queue I can see output queue or if there are any jobs which are in health and if I want to see the status of the jobs I can see that so these are the different activities that I can do and if I want to end so again I'm back to this SDSF and uh, I even I can go to SDSF using S option here on the ISPF so from ISPF also I can uh, go here and uh, seek I can see the uh, status of the job mm, let me uh, show you another thing so if you want to purge hold release or if I want to know which version of operating system I wanted to I'm using so maybe you can just type WHO here and you can see ZO is 1.13 which I'm using for this testing but ideally so when you're working on the real time so you may be seeing 2.4 or 2.3 but the latest version is 2.5 okay and which JES type we are using JES2 or JES3 and what is the version of the ISPF I am using I 6.3 and SDSF I am using is HQX7780 and JES also uh, ZO is 1.13 uh, okay so these are the different information that you can explore I mean ideally when you're submitting a job so this uh, would be uh, very much useful okay so XTC if you want to uh, copy a log or output uh, to you any of the data, data set you can you'll be using as XTC okay and these are the different uh, other searching uh, things that we can use and uh, submit and JES message log JCS when you have submitted the job so these are the different uh, message log JCL sysprint sysout so we are going to see this field as well okay that covers the complete overview. thank you so much for watching so I hope uh, you got a quite information or a little recap about ISPF DSO 
and uh, SDSF okay so if you want in detail so I have uh, other videos as well wherein I have created that how do we enter the line commands or uh, the commands and also uh, uh, I have created it, how to create a data set and uh, I mean, there are many other things other uh, utilities and I have gone through different navigations and maybe uh, you can watch those uh, videos as well that will be in another Wednesday talks that you can so just thought like let me have one quick refresh on all this so that you can use it as a reference when you're attending an interview or or maybe you have it's it's been a month you haven't used a main and if you're trying to use it or years it's been and you wanted to just restart it get restarted this would be a quick reference okay thank you everyone thank you a lot uh, thanks a lot for your support if you haven't subscribed to my channel so please do subscribe share and comment thanks a lot mm -hmm.